Hey gang, Zippo. I got a quick tip for y'all. Um, a lot of us have these uh, set screws, and I'm about everything that we use uh, that needs something secured is secured with some kind of a set screw, whether it be you know the box head or socket head or what have you. Uh, even your garage door springs, uh, the bolts on those that are used, the large bolts like that, um, are used to set into the uh, Schedule 80 pipe that the spring's mounted on. Um, something about these that you need to know and check if uh, you're having slippage problems or something to that effect is uh, the condition of the end of them. If you look at the end, this one's unused. It has a sharp edge. You know, when I say sharp, it is relative. I just had a tick on me. Um, anyway, uh, it's beveled and then it's countersunk in the center. And the combination of doing those two things puts an edge on this. And it's, it's essentially a cutting edge. And this is a, an example of a bad one. You see this shiny area? That's flattened out. You, you try to tighten that down it's not going to grab. It's going to fail on you. and It's going to start spinning out. Now you can repair these. Set this in a vise and uh, use your uh, um, drill press and just clean that up with a drill bit. Just press down on it or on this beveled edge here take uh, your grinder and just run that on your grinder and put that edge back. Don't get it too hot. Cool it often. Quench it in water often. And you can recondition these. But if you've got something that keeps slipping, like steering getting sloppy on your tractor or something like that, a simple little fix like this, like I explained, will put your set screw back into optimal shape and everything will sit tight. Here's, uh, I just knocked my coke over. I hope this video is worth it. <laughs> okay, here's an example. Here's a steering universal joint, and uh, here's a lock collar. And, you know, obviously the lock collar is just going to spin freely, so you can adjust it wherever you need to adjust it. Once you get it into its adjusting point, if that set screw is not got a sharp edge, you can see that one's got a good sharp edge. If it doesn't have a sharp edge, when you go to tighten it down, it's just going to mash against the surface of the uh, metal that you're tightening it onto. Okay, now I want to show you. If you look here, there's no mark. Okay, no mark at all. You can see a mark here. That's what you want. I mean, you want it to be able to tighten down and bite in. That way, it stays put right where it needs to be. So, you saw there's no mark there. I'm going to go ahead and tighten this one down and just show you what it is that you're looking for and you don't need a tremendous amount of, of pressure I didn't put a lot of pressure on that okay that lock collar is going nowhere you put too much pressure on that's gonna shorten the life of the set screw okay now here we'll loosen her back up move it down and you can see it has bit in to the metal and it's gonna stay put so there you go there's a quick tip from Zippo, and I've, uh, I've offered a lot of advice to a bunch of different people, and I realized I'll, I could be making quick tip videos on these, so uh, stay tuned. I'm going to get me up a little list of uh, self-help quick tip videos that will help you guys get through, kind of like the spark plug uh, check tool that I made out of an old uh, spark plug wire, stuff like that. I'll try to get into doing a little bit more of that because I know they're really helpful. So anyway, this is Zippo. Hope everybody has a wonderful day. Later. I'm out.